Hello Phantoms fans and hockey fans and welcome to another episode of Mr and Mr Phantoms edition. We've got another very exciting episode here for you um, but before we do our player introductions um, Will would like to talk to you about some merchandise that you can get from the Hockey Dog store. Yeah we've got um, some great Christmas presents obviously uh, what does everyone want for Christmas surely you want one of these. Um, a lot of the good players have sold out but there's uh there's some pigeon players left like noughts um so get yourself down to hockey dog and you can get a mini jersey and you know what do you want when you're drinking your tea on christmas morning a nice new mug lovely right and well if you'd like to introduce this week's contestants yeah this week we've got two players that should know each other well um they've played since juniors here in peterborough um we've got Corey, Mr. Steele, your girl McEwen, and we've got Chopstick Polly. Hi boys, how's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you feeling about um, today's show and your chances of putting up a score to put you to the top of the leaderboard? Um, don't think we're going to put up many scores tonight, but we're going to do our best. Polly, thoughts? Yeah, I think the same as Corey. I haven't seen him in 12 years, so yeah. I'm confident that we could get a few, but I'm not sure we're going to top it. Yeah, but you sit next to each other in the dressing room and you're constantly talking to each other then. feel like we're interrupting something every time we go over to speak to you. Yeah, you probably are. Yeah, you're right. He's, he's all over my stall. He needs to keep his stuff out of my stall. That's what probably what I'm talking to him about. Jeez. OK, so just a reminder of how the show works. So Corey is going to be guessing Polly's answers first. Five questions for five points. And then Polly will be guessing Corey's answers. Five questions. Uh, five questions for five points. So we'll start off with question number one. So Corey, what is Polly's favourite ice hockey brand or manufacturer? So you're looking at Bauer, CCM, oh, T-Blades, like T-Blades if you're Paddy. I don't think that's a brand. Is it? T-Blades, of course it was a brand. <laughs> okay, Polly's got his answer. <laughs> Answer's locked in? Yeah. Okay, Corey, if you'd like to reveal your answer. Jofa. Close, says my second one, it's this Bauer. <laughs> okay, nice try, so um, zero points right there. We'll move on to question number two. Corey, how many times did it take Polly to pass his driving test? Answer's locked in. One. One. Yeah, you're right. I don't know how, but got there. Not a big deal. Correct answer there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, question number three. Corey, if Polly was in his house and it was burning down, what one item would he make sure he grabbed from his house? Just to be clear, Tom, we are asking for an item and not a person or... Yeah, it has, has to be an item. Yeah, not a person or a pet. Don't want to get anybody into trouble here. Have you yeah, his answer's locked in. This is how the game works, Corey. You're supposed to write what you think. If you need help with spelling, just give Tom a, a nudge. Okay, answer's locked in. Corey, review your answer. Chicken. Phone. Um, I was out of chicken that, that night, sorry buddy. I think I left the so far to the house. So at the moment, the boys are currently on one point. Can we just take a step back here? Chicken. Please elab he elaborate. His, he loves his chicken. Chicken. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Hey, this, is mu this must be what they talk about in their store like, the whole time. Like, whis <laughs> whispering into each of his ears. It's, just, it's a bit weird, actually. It's creepy. Okay. Corey, this will be a good one as you're so close to his stall. What size skates does Polly wear? Still only on one point. Okay, answer's locked in. Reveal your answer. Eight. Seven and a half, buddy. Oh. Every inch counts, mate, but don't worry about it. You normally go up. <laughs> oh, we do do half sizes. Yeah. So, so final question, hopefully you can um, grab yourself a point here. 
as Robbo would say, it's a 50-50 chance. Is Polly a boob or a bum man? No hesitation from Polly. Okay, reveal your answer. Bum. Bum. What well up, mate? Two points. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Two points. Nice. Um, we can't discuss that live on air. Yeah, we, we don't want to uh, put too much pressure on you, that's all. Yeah. So how did you feel that um, went, Corey? It was okay, I guess. Polly, please, uh, you know, elaborate on, on it. We're not getting many words from Corey. I think he's used up his word count in the changing room. So uh, can you elaborate a bit more? Yeah, it was all right. I thought he paid a bit more attention to me. I'm a bit upset about that. But I did forget about Joyfer. He is my favourite brand. So, yeah. <laughs> OK, we'll move on to round number two. So now Polly is going to be guessing Corey's answers. So, Polly... What is Corey's favourite hockey brand? <laughs> Answers locked in. Yeah. I think I might have to pick up a new pen. Polly, what did you go with? I've gone for Coho. Oh, <laughs> Jofa, man. Loves a bit of Jofa. I used to love using a Coho sticking under tens, but. <laughs> Write it down then, buddy. So, Corey, Jofa is obviously a top favourite of yours. Um, is that the reason you chose the helmet that you went for this year, just as a bit of a throwback to those Jofa buckets? Yeah, it literally, like, it was pretty much a Jofa at the start of the season I was wearing, so... You've passed that on to, to Martins now. Yeah, now Martins has the Jofa. <laughs> let's, not, let's not get it twisted, but um, Boogeyman has that on as well, so let's not just pick on, <laughs> let's not just pick on Corey and... Um, but I mean, when you get the selection of the helmet and you pick the worst one, yeah, bad style, bad style. But you've sorted it out. You've sorted it out. So we'll move on to question number two. How many times, Polly, did it take Corey to pass his driving test? Assuming that he's passed. I'd like to think he has. He's driving a team car around. Did you take your test um, over here or was it... Um, over on the other side of the pond, like Jeff would say. I took it in Canada. Nice, nice. Not a big deal. Answers locked in? Yeah. Polly? Cool, I've gone for one, but if he took it over here, I think it'd it's be a one. bit more. I've been in the car with him a few times. It's a one. It's a one -er. <laughs> It's a one -er. <laughs> oh. So, boys are now on three points. So, Polly, if Corey was in his house and it was burning down, what one item would he grab? It has to be an item. One singular item. Not a person. Not a person. Did you not listen earlier, bud? <laughs> Is that legal? No. They said no person, no pet. We did. We have we have established that earlier on. Take my dog with me. Um, I've not seen a dog in the no. in your house, Corey. So <laughs> I think figure it out. Home. All right. Well, me ice it now. Well, you picked the phone, Corey. Please stop discussing your answer and get it on your uh, whiteboard. We're pushed for time. If you don't answer in five seconds, I think we're going to have to award it as a... So the boys are still on three points. Okay. He's got one. He's got... Oh. Oh, snap. Polly, okay. reveal your answer, please. Well, I've gone for protein because yeah. he, he's been to the gym a couple of times in his life, so I think he'd probably grab some protein. Yeah, welcome to the gun show. I'm, I'm a bit shocked that it wasn't some body cream or, you know, something superficial, but uh, I guess his, protein's like ab, ab blasting machine, you know, that <laughs> thing you wrap strap around it and it like pulsates. He, keep, he keeps telling me he's going <laughs> to lend it me, but uh, you know, I'm still waiting. You don't need it. You okay. don't need it either. Thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, cheers, Polly. Okay, moving on to question number four. What size skates does Corey wear, Polly? I don't think Corey's even too sure what size skates he wears. I don't know that Corey knows what day it is right now, to be honest. Okay. 
It's a good job you didn't tell him the lead. Corey's answer's locked in. Yep, we've got an answer locked in. Yeah. I've gone for size 8. 7.5. What did you say when it was Polly's go? You normally round you normally round it up. Yeah, and then all three of you guys said, oh, we do half sizes, so. I don't We're think he understands the, practice, the rules of a game. Practice what you preach. You're a special cat. Okay, final question. So the boys are on four points. And maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? So on four points. So is Corey a bum or a boob man? I'll give you a clue with Polly's answer here, Corey. It begins with B. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Got locked in, Polly? Yeah. yeah. I've gone for bum. I think he's a bum man. Bum. He's a bum man. Yeah. The batty. The batty man. <laughs> <laughs> so, five points. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely pulled it around there in the second half. Polly definitely pays a little bit more attention to you than you do to him. How busy. do you feel? He's too busy looking in the mirror, I think. So. Oh, shots fired. Shots fired. Paying attention to himself, I guess. Yeah. Um, Any reply to that, Corey? Not on camera, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> So the boys have just recorded five points there, so we'll add that to our leaderboard. Thank you very much for tuning in this week. Um, please don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At GoFansoms. Thanks, Will. Hey. <laughs> Less of that. And We know he's a bomb man, not so. Uh, <laughs> and um, please uh, make sure you stay in touch with all that to follow any Phantoms news, updates, competitions or any new merchandise that's out in the hockey dog store so fellas there's only one thing left to do to finish the show we need to wave ourselves out so, wave <laughs>